In this video, I want to help you become more intentional with your time. By being more intentional and decluttering your lifestyle, you can achieve so much more. You might want to clear your debts, start a new business, find a new direction, or maybe follow a passion. My name's Nick, and on this channel, I explore ways we can enhance our productivity whilst embracing the joy of life. And in this video, I want to share with you five daily principles I use to live my life by. If you truly want to take your life to the next level, listen very carefully. Now, before we get to my principles, I want you to let me know, have you ever felt behind? Now, as a company manager, now a business owner, entrepreneur, and content creator i can truly testify this is something i've had to grapple with significantly can you relate to this do let me know in the comments now we often put needless pressures on ourselves mainly by comparing ourselves with others and this is when we perceive ourselves as falling behind now we have to remember we're all on our own journey and instead of measuring ourselves against others we need to focus on our own personal growth and aspirations now the principles i'm going to share with you today guide my everyday life and the decisions that i make so my first principle is to take ownership of your life now through my career i've never accepted the status quo i've always sought to find the next challenge or taking positive action to control the things that come into my life, ensuring they can bring a positive enhancement. To think of this another way, if something comes along that doesn't add value to your life and you don't believe it's worth your time at all, energy or resources, then take action to ensure it doesn't enter your life at all. Now, if you do this consistently, you can really start to shape the path that your life takes. Instead of your life being just a ship sailing through the wind, you want to harness that wind when it's blowing in the direction you want. Steer yourself away from the obstacles that might disrupt your path and navigate past the distractions that take energy away from your time. Now as we go about our lives we should aim to create and curate the lives we live and the environment in which we live, decluttering our distractions and the noise that steal our energy. Now when we talk about our lives this isn't defined by one particular thing, it includes everything we choose to accept from friends, from family, relationships, to work-life balance, leisure activities and even financial decisions. Now I live my life in a de deliberately intentional and mindful way. If I spend time doing something I want to make sure that I'm doing it for the right reasons, leading nicely onto my second life principle. Now as a business owner, entrepreneur and solopreneur it's essential to have clarity on what you're aiming for so think to yourself what are you optimizing for now we often hear talk about setting goals but i believe many people approach this the wrong way as well now we might think of goals such as make more money publish a book get monetized on youtube for example now all of these things are things i'd like to do but they're not my guiding direction ultimately instead i ask myself and this is what you should be thinking what are you ultimately attempting to achieve what will your goals unlock now for me yes i want to make more money like most of us do but why I would love to write a book perhaps maybe one day but again what do i ultimately want to gain from that so think about it what do these goals unlock for you well for me i just want to live a happier healthier more enjoyable life free from the mundane constraints of day to day i love to travel and i'd love to spend more time traveling and exploring the world by optimizing my day-to-day -day lifestyle i'm laying the foundations for my life's path i'm removing obstacles leveraging things in my favor and finding opportunities to accelerate towards my goals optimizing continually i've learned the important thing when to say no ensuring that my value time is truly spent doing what matters both in the present moment and for longer term optimization. Our lives and lifestyles evolve so this cycle of continual optimization never stops. So as we optimize our lifestyles and make decisions we need to prioritize the things that are important to us individually. We don't want to get stuck with burdens in both our personal lives and business lives. Now I'm an entrepreneur with interest in various business ideas and in the past few years alongside my full-time job and running a business I've also actively sold on eBay and Amazon. However ultimately these pursuits were not truly optimized. The time and energy they took from me were the detriment of spending the time more wisely. So early this summer I decided to put these aside and you know what it removed a massive weight off my shoulders. Only then was I able to see how detrimental it was getting. Now I'd fallen into a trap of not optimizing for my future. Now having swept away this distraction aside I feel more empowered and motivated to pursue what really matters. Working towards that goal will enable a much brighter lifestyle. I'm now able to leverage my time more productively finding tools and resources that I can make better use of. Now I hope that so far this has got you thinking what are you optimizing? for and can this be in both your personal life and in your business so if you're still with me i want you to take a moment to commit to changing the way you think to truly make a difference in our lives and control our destiny we must shift our mindset now that brings me on to my third principle and that's focusing 100 of your energy on what you control now every day we put ourselves under pressure we overthink we procrastinate get stressed we feel behind and in most cases these feelings come from worrying about things we just can't control let me know in the comments below if this is something that you can relate to now let's think about what aspects of our lives we can actually control. Think about the food we eat, people we spend time with, the way we spend our time such as the media we consume, the stuff we purchase often needlessly that 
ultimately clutters our personal environments. The experiences we create, the habits we practice, the words we speak or choose not to speak, and the goals we set ourselves, the hobbies that we enjoy and the positivity that we share. Now, when we focus on things that are within our control, we empower ourselves. We improve, we become more efficient, more productive, more energized, and ultimately retake ownership out of our lives with the improved clarity and optimization needed to become more effective and happier in our mindset and well-being. Now, let's focus for a moment on the negatives. What happens when we fail? How does that make you feel? Now, my fourth principle is that failure is never a failure, but an opportunity to learn and grow. We'll all fail in life at some point at something, but by pushing our boundaries, we learn, we adapt, improve and refine. Never see failure as a negative. Our failures can sow the seeds for our continued growth. Now, throughout my life myself, I've embraced failures, but learned lessons along the way. By applying these lessons to future decisions, I've developed a new perspective on life, one of a more continual improvement cycle. You never need to worry about failing, but look forward to future achievements. Now, by following my four principles, I'll hope you'll be able to empower yourself more to succeed. There's really no need to limit your growth in life. Now, by choosing to live your life by these principles, I believe you can make a positive difference to yourself and to your own life journey. Now, I hope you have found this video insightful and I hope you're feeling at least a little more empowered. Don't forget to like and let me know in the comments what inspiration you have. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.